No nonsense gin drinking. All gin, no nonsense. Hello gin lovers, welcome back. I'm Bobby Freeman and today, my friends, on the show, let me introduce you to, well, like, to be honest, I can't really introduce you to it because it doesn't really have any sort of real name. Let me just show it to you anyway. Have a look at that. It's from a company called Il Gusto, right, which I'd never heard of before. I think there's some sort of generic kind of birthday gift type company and this is Il Gusto pink gin in a lady's shoe and I I have to say we've had some good looking gins on this show but I think we might well have oh my god I'm gonna need to drop the bloody thing we might have a winner I mean I showed this to Narissa when it turned out and she was just like oh I want it I want it I'm like why do you want it it looks like a shoe I'm like yes it looks like a shoe, but what's the gin going to be like? Why do you want it? And she was just overcome by all the packaging, obviously. So to be honest, it's a bit of a strange one to have on the show. I have nothing to tell you about it, nothing to read on the website about it. There's nothing about the flavour profile, about the company who made it. I mean, maybe there is if you really looked into it deeper. But let's be honest, I I, I can't be asked to do all that. I'm, I'm a busy man. Well, I'm not, but you know, I, you know what I mean. But I thought, in in the interests of variation uh, on this show, I thought I'd give it a go because it's it's something that's clearly probably going to sell a lot on the merits of how it looks on these sort of aesthetic sort of uh, 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 what, what, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> I can't think but on the way it looks so I thought it might be a good idea to try it out because I suspect I mean I might be wrong I might be wrong my regular viewers and, and subscribers know that I am very often wrong indeed in fact I'm rarely right however it, it, I think it might be one that's just all about the packaging and just some generic rubbish just chucked in there but as I say, I may well be wrong. So my friends, I find out we, I, I, I say we find out. But before we do, I have to thank another one of my subscribers who has joined the ranks of my YouTube members. So, Tashvir Randhawa. If, Tashvir, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize profusely. I'm a typical Englishman. I can't cope with any name that's not an English one. But Tashvir, you are an official supporter of the show. I am forever in your debt and I salute you. So, as I say, we've got nothing to read from the website because there's literally nothing on there. It's just kind of a, a gift website. I'm not sure if they're available in other countries. I don't know. It's literally just gin in a shoe. Pink gin in a shoe. In fact, it says pink gin there. If, I was a little bit disappointed because I looked on the website and it actually said there was gold leaf in there, like some edible gold leaf, which would have been very nice, but there's definitely no gold leaf in there. It's just pink gin. So, my friends, I, with nothing left to do but to get the top off and have a good old sniff. Now, as you can see with this one, there's a rather strange setup. It comes with a cork in there, but it also comes with this kind of stopper as well. I don't know why they didn't put that in the first place. But anyway, let's give it a quick cork test, see how we get on. So, definitely no squeak. Go for the full pull. Oh, not great. A tiny little pull, but it was muted slightly by the clacking of this thing on there. But never mind, doesn't matter, just a bit of fun. So, let's get her in the old glass. I'm not sure what is going on here with this thing. It's very annoying. I don't know what they were thinking. But anyway, let's get a bit in there. Now then, we have featured a lot of pink gins on the show recently. So, it's be interesting to see how this compares to those. So, first of all... <laughs> okay, to be honest, th there's not much going on in the smell. Is th that's weird because... A pink gin surely should literally have a great big strawberry scented hand firmly up the nostrils and grab onto the hairs and give it a good strawberry scented yank. However, that just, that smells like, it just smells slightly of gin. Just very, very, a sort of a subtle, uh, forgotten afterthought of gin. So, uh, I have to say, straight away on the, on the aroma, that's a bit disappointing. I'm, I'm just getting, to be honest, not a bad gin smell, but there's nothing what you think of, no sort of berry smell, no sort of strawberry, raspberry, anything kind of pink. It's not a, it doesn't smell pink to me, which I think's a little bit disappointing. However, we never know what's gonna happen when we introduce the tonic, my friend. So let's do that now. Get it in the old mouth, shall we? It's 40% as well, which I find surprising because usually, as we know, with the pink gins and the gin liqueurs, well, not the gin liqueurs, with the pink fruity kind of gins, they usually drop down a bit lower to 37.5 around there. But this is kept quite high on the ABV, so you never know, you never know. So here we go, a gin with no name from a company called Il Gusto, shaped like a shoe, doesn't smell very good. I say cheers. Cheers. 
Well, 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 <laughs> oh God. Okay, okay, I have to say, dear lovers, I think, I think I may have been right in my first assumption because as I said, it's clearly a very, very beautiful product and someone's gonna love that, you know, your, your mum, your girlfriend, whoever, uh, is gonna clearly love receiving that as a present because it's quite a beautiful thing. However, are they going to love <laughs> tasting it well i would say it's okay all right it tastes like like just a bog standard run-of-the-mill gin and to be honest that's a little bit disappointing because it promises so much with the package it promises so much but as i thought they've gone all out on the packaging and not really bothered about the gin they put in it it, it, it kind of i'd say it's a muted gin in fact actually i don't really uh know what to tell you because it's kind of it, you can tell it's gin it's got the base flavors of the sort of the the you know sort of obviously lit, is there any juniper in there let me hang on here. yeah a little tiny bit a little tiny bit of all the sort of the gin the slightly bit of citrus a teeny tiny bit of spice that all that sort of you know the cardamom coriander that all that stuff that make up the classic gin flavour are in there. But I'd say they're probably dialed down to about pfft, 10 or 15% of what you would expect from a, you know, sort of a, a fairly good, sort of decent-ish run-of-the-mill gin. But in terms of, of pinkness, if you know what I mean, it, it, when I say pinkness, I mean what what's get what you know, what is oh god, what's giving it that colour, what's making it pink, what flavours are you getting from there? You're not getting anything really. As I say, there's no strawberry flavor. That, what did I do with that? There's no strawberry flavor. There's no um, raspberry flavor. There's no sort of pink berry forest fruity flavor or anything like that. It's just a kind of a tepid, ugh, uninspired, kind of unimaginative gin. It's gin by numbers, to be honest. And uh, I, I think if I received that as a present, um, which, you know, uh, I'd be surprised if I received that as a present, but you never know. I'd be a little bit disappointed. However, however, let's give her a little slurp neat, just to see. <laughs> that, that tastes even less flavours, because as I say, the tonic very often unlocks flavours. That's extremely neutral. That, what, what an awful, awful adjective to have applied to your product. Neutral. It's a neutral tasting gin. Good lord above. It's 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 extremely unneutral packaging, but what a damp and wet squib. Squib what, what what actually is a squib? I'm not sure. Is it related to a squid? I don't know, but I imagine it's I don't know what it is, but it's not good. So then, so then, a little bit of a disappointment. However, this is the big thing because as I said, this is going to be brought as a gift a lot of the times, I would imagine because it is a gift website as far as I can tell. How much of your money are you going to waste <laughs> on this thing? Okay, on this novelty. Well, I can tell you, it's not the end of the world, but it's not particularly good either. It's bang on 30 pounds, which everybody knows. That's why I say you don't have to pay more uh, uh, than to get for a mainstream kind of gin. To give you an idea, that's $41 or 50, uh, 34 euros. But to be honest, usually, as I say, I wouldn't be, ha I wouldn't be um, uh, unhappy paying that. I'd be very pleased. However, for something that is clearly a bit, uh, a, 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 a massive, I was gonna say a bit, an absolute out and out full on novelty and not a particularly great gin. I mean, I, I'm not happy paying for it. I think that should be way down there. They're clearly charging for the sort of, uh, for, for the aesthetics of the bottle and definitely not for what's inside. So then, gym lovers, so then, a bit of a sort of a strange review today. I thought I'd take a chance because, you know, you've got to take chances on these things to make, you know, to keep stuff interesting and keep it sort of, keep it alive. However, I'm glad I tried it. I am glad I tried it and I'm glad I tried it because I can now tell you guys if any of you are thinking, as I say, I'm not sure if it's available further afield than the UK, I don't know. But if you were thinking of getting it, yeah, it will look great on a shelf and it will put a smile on the face of whomever you buy it for, I'm sure. However, if the person for whom you bought it for is anything approaching 
um, a, a, a gin lover or knows anything about gin, I honestly think they probably will be a disappointed. It, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a bad, let me, I'll say this, it's not a bad gin, okay? It's definitely not bad. It doesn't taste bad. I've definitely tasted bad gins and that's not one of them, but it's just muted and kind of boring. And in a way, I think that's worse than bad because if I believe it's bad, you know, someone might like it. It's a very specific taste. They've gone for it and they've stuck to it. And in a way, I admire that, their commitment to, to shit gin. However, just mundane, mediocre gin to me seems kind of worse. And I, you know, if you if you really feel like, no, I, I, Freeman, you're an idiot. I, I want that bottle on my, uh, on my shelf. No matter what, please feel free to do it. This is only my opinion, of course. But however, for what it's worth, I don't really think it's worth all that beauty because the beauty is only skin deep. Mm, very profound. <laughs> So guys, so guys, I hope you found that uh, a video useful today. I think you will do. I think you will do because you might be in a bit of a quandary when you've seen that I wanted to buy it a gift. However, those are my thoughts for what they are worth. If you feel that they were worth anything at all, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the like button on the video and press the little bell icon so you get notified when all my new videos come out. And if you want to support the show like good old Tashvir did, then head over to the old, well no, press the old button below this video or head over to the old Patreon page if you want to do it on Patreon. But until next time guys, you know the drill. Take care, stay safe. Thank you to all my patrons and members like good old Tashvir and keep drinking the gin.